The first thing we do at our city council meetings is have an open call to the public. If there is anybody from the community who would like to speak to the council on anything that is not listed on the agenda, this would be the time to step forward and let us know your thoughts. You'll be given three minutes to do so. If it's an item that will be discussed later on on the agenda, you'll also be given a time to address it when that time comes. So at this time, I now open the call to the public, to anybody who would like to talk to council. If so, please step forward. If you'll just address, or, uh, come up to the podium and state your name for the record. My name is Sandy Wolf. Um, I live in Bullhead. I've been here for about 23 years. Mayor Brady, we need to put a stop to the uh, regatta. It's gotten far too out of hand. They have destroyed our rivers. They have destroyed our town, and they're rude to us, and they're drunk. They have orgies on the river. I don't have children. I don't have family. Um, but I would refuse to let my nieces, my nephews, float down the river to watch them have sex with one another. And I'm being very ladylike. You know, I wasn't ladylike Saturday, and I wasn't very ladylike on Facebook. Um, so we need to put a stop to it. I did sign the petition to put a stop to it, and I will keep signing these petitions, and I will keep coming up to this podium each and every year until this is stopped, because you need to stop it. It has gotten far out of hand, and it does not enhance our town. All it does is destroy it and make us look like a bunch of filthy pigs, and that is what we are being called. You do not know the nature of how far this has gotten this time around. We even made the paper in Mexico about what slobs we were. That's really nice to see that we bullhead Indians are a bunch of pigs. I don't like to be called a pig. I don't destroy my country. I don't destroy my town. And I certainly don't destroy that river. And I'm not a tree hugger. Believe me. I, I believe in people going out to the country, going out into our parks, wherever and having fun but clean keep it clean don't destroy it and i'm embarrassed to say that i was born and raised in california where most of these people are coming from and i do not have a very good opinion of california anymore i've lost quite a bit of it especially this weekend what i saw i was mad so please mayor do something we can, I think we can come up with a better solution to make better money without destroying our river and our town. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Mayor, City Council, I'm Jamie Starr. Um, I wanted to, I came down mainly, excuse me, mainly tonight to remind the voters that we have to, um, excuse me, that we have to, we need to approve the general plan in the upcoming election. Um, the general plan approval will not cost you anything. It will not raise your taxes. It, um, it is simply the guiding document for the future of the city. Um, it's a long-term plan for our city so that we don't do things like put concrete plants in residential areas and, and whatnot. Um, along with the general plan, we have the strategic plan, which is a kind of a living document which is updated every year or two and outlines the short and midterm goals for the city. So I want to encourage everyone to, to pass this this year because it costs the city a bunch of money to put on an election to, to do this when it needlessly fails. Um, a couple of quick comments on the regatta. Um, I think the regatta has been very successful. And I, I think, you know, there are a lot of people calling to end the regatta. I don't think we throw the baby out with the bathwater and kill the golden goose. Um, I think what we do is, as has been done in the past, continue, continue to improve. Um, obviously, we have a trash problem. But it is a fairly limited problem, and there's, there's a solution to it. Um, as far as trash remaining in the river, I think we have trash boats downstream. I could be incorrect on that, but I thought they had people downstream picking trash up. If not, that's something can be looked into in, in the future. Um, 
and and we do have divers that scour the bottom. Um, you know, I, there's obviously I'm sure still room for improvement in all of that. Um, rude people, you always have rude people. Um, drunks, people come to the river and have for 40 years. It's a place to cut loose within reason. Um, we haven't had riots. Uh, you know, I, I think overall, for the numbers of people that it handles, the amount of money it brings into the community, I'm, I think it's a great, I think we should have more um, in a controlled circumstance. However, I am concerned that the profit margins are pretty slim. And if there was a catastrophic failure, some time we're ready for 30,000 people and only 10,000 show up, the, the taxpayers in the city could be left on the hook for you know several hundred thousand dollars in costs. So um, I think if we can address those in the next next year, that uh, that would be good. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Randy Daly. I'm a fairly new resident uh, down here from Washington State. And uh, I'm standing up here, uh, one of 30,000 in favor of keeping this regatta. I worked for Boeing for 45 years. I was a whitewater guide. I know the rivers and I know the reasons behind the people that are upset about this. Yes, it's true. There was a lot of trash there. And I am amazed that the group got it picked up that quick. I've seen different areas around the country and this has been great. Um, you know, with the unfortunate acts or on Saturday evening with the trash. Outside of that, I would fully encourage you to keep going. I'm still going to be bringing people down here for the regatta, for bike week and everything else. Um, you know, like I said, it's a great thing. It brings a lot of people into the area. It brought me down here and I'm not, I didn't see any of the incidents on the river that the young lady over here mentioned earlier. Um, we were just here to have fun and we certainly did and I'm Certainly hoping that every, each and every one of you does stay and uh, keep the regatta with us. I know the costs are getting higher and higher, but hey, I'm willing to even chip in next year and help out at the end. So just let's keep it going. Thank you, sir. Council members, my name is Stan Kepler. I too am a transplant from the state of Washington, been bullheaded for 14 months. Yep, you're tall, not me. <laughs> anyway, uh, I am against the regatta. I knew about it. I've lived in Arizona for 14 years, 13 years. Uh, I've seen the mess that it leaves. My hat's off to the volunteers and the staff who cleaned it up so quickly and so nicely. They did an excellent job this year, as they usually do. I've been involved in logging conferences, logging competitions, bluegrass festivals. We've never had that type of mess at the festivals that I've been at all over the northern half of the United States. People have pride in what they're doing. This is a dumpster zone. The, the regatta compared to the profit margin that I understand the city and the business owners make, I don't see how you can continue with it. Uh, like it's already been said, one major catastrophe, uh, low, low income or a death, uh, many things can happen that's going to put this city in negative. But every problem has to have a solution. And I'm recommending things, we have a lot of cultural people here in this community uh, I'm an old redneck logger, so I don't consider myself culture, but I sure enjoy it. Uh, Kingman does something that impressed me when I looked up in Golden Valley four or five times a year. They go to the fairgrounds and they put up a big balloon uh, screen and they do a drive-in. We have business owners here who have monster screens and the sound equipment to uh, work with it that could do similar things, movies at the, uh, the park in the pavilion. Uh, I drive to Kingman for art shows. I went up Sunday to Hualapai to the craft fair. We don't have that down here. 116 degree weather, I wouldn't go to it anyway. But we have fall and winter and spring that we could be doing these things. 
that brings in revenue, a lot less, uh, trying to think of the right word, uh, well, the revenue would outweigh what we're putting up with with the drought, I'm feeling. But there are other things we can do to bring people in. We have artists in this community. There is a man in this community I found out last week who is an awesome brass artist. <clears throat> an opportunity for him to show his wares and other people like him. Think about these things. Investigate it. Let's see if we can just not just get rid of something, but phase something out and add something else to it. The, the ideas that I've come up with are family entertainment ideas. The regatta really isn't. You're not going to take your four-year-old child, if you've got any brains anyway, down the river. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, sir. Mayor Brady, council members, staff, I saw the pictures, and yes, they were disgusting. However, they wouldn't have been had some of these floaters paid attention to the signage as to where they were supposed to land and didn't. At Rotary Park, there was 150 trash cans lined up, 20 of them, additional 20, was at uh, Don Sullivan Park. There were seven large, low-sided dumpsters, four large roll-off dumpsters, and a garbage truck. Our staff and volunteers dedicated to trash all day with 98 staff members at the landing zone, 20 temporary staff and 40 volunteers. There were 20 volunteers on skis, jet skis, just past Rotary Park with fishing nets and pontoons scoping out anything that float past them. This is not the first time. I think it was even the second regatta that we had problems. But every time we face a problem, we deal with it and we come up to handle the situation. Nobody expected all of these floaters to have their own spring break on the opposite side of the river. When it was time for them to come back, just right across the river, they got caught up in a current. And it's very difficult to cross that river from where the old Boy Scout camp used to be to come down to Rotary Park. A lot of them just got caught up in, in the area and couldn't happen. I believe and hope that city staff, mayor, council, and the city manager would find a solution to this, and I believe that they will because we've dealt with it before. Every time there was a problem, from the first to this, there was always something. This has put Bullhead City on the map. It's no longer where is Bullhead City? That was something that used to be on, on tags that you put on it. Please, uh, please don't close this regatta. It means a lot to a lot of people here. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. I was a little late, so I didn't get all the rules. I'm Tina Foltz, mayor, council members. I emailed you all um, on Monday. I am pleading that we stop the regatta. It's not just Rotary Park's beach. 
that was trashed. It's all the other beaches south of there that the trash doesn't get stopped. It's the trash that goes into the river. And I understand that we do need the revenue that it produces because it is a boost to our economy. But at what cost? It's, it's the environmental cost, so I've asked the EPA if they could do a um, environmental impact study as to what happens with all of the garbage. And it's not just the floaters, it's not just tourists. The residents along the river shoot water balloons at floaters. Those water balloon pieces are littering just as much as the Mardi Gras beads that are thrown into the river when it's a Mardi Gras theme. In addition to those beaches that were trashed, I know that um, Mayor Brady, you spoke to a gentleman who was in his boat Saturday afternoon. They picked up trash, jello shooter cups, floating syringes, balloon pieces, all the way past the RV. So nets on jet skis are not catching what gets missed and what doesn't get brought in. But they also vandalized Bella's Rock Garden. Who does that? The, there was a, a, a mom who reported that her child said that the school buses that were used smelled like stale beer and cigarettes. Didn't we even hose them down before we put our kids back in the buses? It's, I'm a 31 year resident I utilize the river. I'm out on the river every weekend. I raised my children here. And my 28-year-old had to say, Mom, I know not to litter. Yes, we have our trash bags. And yes, I put on my sunscreen. Because even at 28 years old, I was lecturing my own. But she's grown up watching me hand people trash bags out at the lake, out at the beach, asking them, Please clean up, take it with you, because we live here. But my biggest concern is the environmental cost. So as a suggestion, why not invest in something that can boost the economy that already was a signature event here, that we did long before the regatta? And that's the Laughlin River Run. I know there are problems with that too, but at least it's not environmentally detrimental. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Eva Corbett, Bullhead City. Good evening, Mayor. Good evening, Council, and especially Brian Williamson. I know you had a busy weekend. Anyway, I'm here to promote our event tomorrow, which is the Colorado River Women's Republican Party. And we have, a, we have a club, and we'd like for all of you to come and support us, because you know this is election year, and all us Republicans have to get on, on board and vote correctly. Thank you. And I might add, it's not a party, it's a forum tomorrow at 11.30 at Chaparral, correct? Okay, anyone else? All right, I see no one else stepping forward. So I will close the call to close the call to the public and we will move on. Do any council members feel that we need to modify the agenda in any way shape or form? And let's go to a waiver motion. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I motion to waive the reading in full of all ordinances and resolutions presented for adoption in this meeting. Second. We have a first and a second to waive the reading. All in favor? Vote. Councilman Duvall? Yes. Seven in favor of the motion. Motion carries. Let's turn to our city manager for a report. Thank you, Mayor and Council. No report this evening. Mayor and Council members reporting on current events. Would anybody like to comment on anything of interest? I would. There's a lot of concerns with, with some issues with regatta this year, and I'd just like the people to know that 
we are listening. We do listen, and things will be done to improve if the regatta is carried on. Um, I've seen a lot of a lot of things on social media where people said, "Don't even bother to show up because they're not going to listen to you." Well, the people that showed up tonight, I appreciate you coming here and voicing your concerns. Thank you. And I would like to echo, I would like to echo that. I went online yesterday and spent quite a bit of time reading every comment that was on that social petition to stop the regatta. And I stopped when I loaded one more, one more, and that's what I was doing. I was just loading one or two at a time rather than pages. So I read them. I hear you, and I am evaluating it. I'd also like to tell everybody that on September 20th, I believe it is, we are going to get a recap of the regatta, and that will be a time for a public hearing where we will decide whether or not the regatta continues. That is, if everything goes according to plan. Right now, we're looking at the council meeting on September 20th. So if there are people out there that feel strongly, then would be the time to either appear in person or let the city council know through either emails or whatever means you have to let us know what your thoughts are just as several individuals did here today. So that's basically all I have to say for right now. 